I've been promising this for a little while, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it uh, just to fill some time. Um, this is the three LED helmet magnifier uh, from a company called Dilzuki, I think is the correct pronunciation. I have no idea. But uh, the model number on this is MG82000MC. Um, I picked this up on Amazon for, I think it was probably about 32 bucks. I, I don't know. There's, I've seen a couple that are maybe 22, 28, 25. They're all around the same. Um, I mainly got this one because it was black. Uh, the others I've seen in that price range uh, that I mentioned earlier were white, so that's why I got this one. But um, I've had it for just about a month. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. And uh, just thought I'd go over some of the features I noticed, some of the things I liked, uh, didn't like. So first of all, the fit on this thing, I have a pretty huge noggin. And I'm going to say, when I say that, I mean like I, I've got a big old egg football head. Like I don't know how else to describe it. Um, this thing has a locking mechanism, so you can pull it out, then adjust it, then snap it in place, and it locks in place pretty good. It's got some uh, nice padding on the inside edge, both on the back and the rear, which I like. Uh, one of the things I was concerned about, um, you can tighten this adjustment here for this uh, lift up area. And this thing actually comes up all the way over, so you can have this on your head. Um, I wear glasses uh, usually for things that are really close to me. I'm farsighted um, in one eye. Uh, and my right eye is probably starting to fail too because I'm getting old. But yeah, uh, this thing allows me to wear my glasses. Um, and it also has a number of different adjustments for the lenses, which I'll go into in a minute. But basically, you can adjust this lens holder back and forth and also has a uh, sort of a vertical, like rotational thing. I don't know how you'd call it, but I guess it's an angle. So you can actually adjust the lenses uh, and the distance that they're at from each other a little bit that way, but also how close they are to your face. Um, and then in addition to that, they've even get, given you this little bitty kind of like magnifier that you can kind of prop, prop down in front of that if you need something else. Um, pretty bright LED two different modes and uh, this is cool because it actually has a sort of a, a rotation so you can kind of angle it in a way you you know if you need it out of your way or focusing on something specific but also this whole thing comes out cool right so I like that because it reduces the weight of this this uh, uh, I guess they call it a helmet it's like to, technically it's sort of a helmet I would call it more of a headband but um, it's nice because it reduces the weight and also um, you can just put this somewhere else if you need it to be, like prop it off to the side, use it by hand. Um, very, very cool. Um, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with it so far. So going into the lenses, now there's a few things there. Let me get this little guy out of the way. Let's turn this light off. Came in these box, this little box, which I not, I like. I like that it came in a box. You can keep them separate. It came with five lenses of different strengths, I believe. And we can look at the box here. This is the box it actually comes in. Now, this box was in another box when it was shipped to me through Amazon. And I am not an affiliate. If you buy this, and I'll put the link for the one I bought below. But if you buy this, I don't get any money. So... Uh, this is not some sort of uh, biased review. I, I bought this with my own money. Nobody sent this to me. And uh, I was pretty close. Now, instruction-wise, uh, yeah, there's, there's some instructions here in English. Uh, but also all of this stuff. But this is all Chinese. So if you read Chinese, I don't know if it's Mandarin, Cantonese, whatever the the specific script is for this but uh, if you can read that maybe maybe that'll be of use to you wasn't of use to me obviously i don't speak chinese uh but yeah i mean all the features it indicates are there uh they work as as uh, noted the uh, little battery uh charger um for this is for the uh, light which is cool it looks like a micro usb um so you get a cable for that 
I don't know how long this battery would last. I don't even know what kind of battery's in there. I'm assuming it's probably some lithium ion type. But uh, yeah, that's cool. So you get this is the box you get it in. Uh, it's a 1X, a 1.5X, a 2X, a 2.5X, and a 3X for the lenses. Um, they seem to be a pretty thick polycarbonate of some kind. Um, I'm going to guess the same kind of thing you'd, you'd get in any typical inexpensive reading glasses. But uh, yeah, what I found is they are super, super strong. Uh, just to give you an idea, we'll look at this little guy. But yeah, you can you can really get in there. Without it, with it. Now, I think these are the 1.5s. Let me see if I can get find the thicker ones. These are the real thick ones. Do, do, do. I don't know how close I can get it. But, yeah. What's cool is you can also use these in combination with uh, other lenses. One of the things with these types of lenses... Um, or uh, magnifying uh, units is uh, you're, you kind of you kind of have to you have like a sweet spot. In other words, this might need this object might need to be with a lot of them uh, as close as a foot away, or in some cases you're not going to see anything till it's a good two feet away. Uh, what I like about these is because it has this sort of adjustment on it. All right, let me just put one of these lenses in here and I'll show you how that goes in. What I like is that you can compensate for that by making this adjustment back and forth. So, and also by angling it a little bit, that actually helps. So because it has that means of adjustment, that means that you're not stuck with it being in a specific sweet spot, right? So. Unlike most where they don't have that, that level of adjustment back and forth, you're kind of just stuck with whatever distance it's going to magnify at, whether it's a foot, a foot and a half, three feet, who knows, right? You don't know. Um, with these, in combination with the lenses, I mean, you can really go crazy with this uh, magnification because now I've just effectively doubled it or tripled it or even quadrupled it because... Now you've got a 1.5 or a 2.5 with a, a, a 3.5 in front of it. So that magnification is suddenly just like exponentially increased. So let's see. I don't know if we can get it to magnify or adjust here, but yeah, it's, it's, it's ludicrously strong now. Um, what I found is I don't necessarily need to on here. Um, it's cool if you have something really, really small you're trying to do. Let me see if I can get it. Eh, because it allows it to be at a much greater distance and you can get super, super. There we go. I mean, it's pretty strong. <laughs> but you can adjust it by angling these lenses apart. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a means of focusing between them. And then you can adjust it again by getting it away. And like I said, I can put these on with my glasses. And if I just want to see something normally, I can just lift it up out of the way. I'm not sort of stuck. Um, I've got a little bit of that peripheral vision. So I've got some means of also looking at things at a normal view. You know, if I'm grabbing my tools, it's a little awkward when you're reaching for your tools and everything's super magnified. Uh, so it's kind of nice that it's got that sort of uh, ability to sort of just lift up out of the way and you can grab things. You don't want to grab something that's too sharp on your desk and be like kind of missing it or jabbing right into it, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share these. Um, I'm really pretty pretty happy with them, I, I got to say. Um, I was going to get the white ones, but as soon as I saw black, I just had to get the black ones. I just got to get black stuff. Um... Let me put this up. It also came with this little microfiber cloth to uh, put these in, which I was kind of happy with. Um, I mean, I use the same one I use for my glasses for the most part to clean these, but, you know, whatever. All right. And they're pretty easy to get in and off of here. 
Um, these will scratch. I mean, they're just a polycarbonate like anything else, anything that's plastic. So you really should be really super careful with these. You don't want them near your tools. I certainly wouldn't rest them on the top of your cutting board or whatever it is that you're working on. Um, whatever surface that you're working on, it doesn't matter how smooth it is. It's going to have some kind of texture to it and it will scratch these. I guarantee you. So keep them in the box, keep them clean. If they're not in the box, keep them on the helmet, but don't ever lay them flat because you'll scratch them for sure. Um, as far as the build on this, I mean, the build quality is okay. It's, it's a, you know, they're all cheap plastics, but, um, you know, for such an inexpensive item, uh, I mean, from China, it's, it's really not bad. I mean, it's got lots of points of adjustment. Um, like I said, you can kind of lock this in. Let me show you how far this goes out. Right? I mean, I don't have a tiny little baby head like that. I got a big giant noggin, but I think it'll even go as big, much bigger than my head will go. So that's that's pretty that's pretty nice. That that amount that amount of adjustment is is very very nice. So whether you're a, a female or a little kid and you've got a little head, or you're a you know a big Texas uh, boy like me, then <laughs> you know you've at least got that option. Um, and then being able to tighten this and move it out of the way, uh, just super, super cool. But, uh, oops, I seem to have lost my, oh yeah, I put the LED in here. So again, um, LED is rechargeable, it's movable, it's got different angles. I, I don't, you know, that's, I wasn't even aware of that. I literally was just buying this because I needed a magnifier that had a variant in magnification and, um, uh, I wanted something that I didn't necessarily need something with a light on it. Um, that was just kind of a bonus, but I wanted something that looked like it was going to be comfortable or adjustable. And I have to say, um, I haven't been disappointed by it yet. Uh, pretty happy with it. And I think like anything else, if you take care of it, it'll last you a long time. But uh, yeah, I'll make sure I put the link for this one in the description. Um, once I'm done filming here and uh Anybody has any questions, feel free to just uh, send me a text or email me, whatever. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these. So I just thought I wanted to review these, uh, let you know what they were. Again, these were the, uh, I think it was, the name of the company was Dilzeku, D-I-L-Z-E-K-E-Z-E-K-U, -E 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 I think. And it was the model uh, MG82000MC3 LED helmet magnifier. Yeah, so cool. Oh yeah, it looks there's some of the specs on the uh, on the light. So 110 to 240, 50 hertz, five volts, light power, 0.6 watts, 1.5 watts power. Weights. Huh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> if you have, if this means anything to you, cool. Um, doesn't really mean much to me. I mean, it's just three LEDs. But uh, yeah, I liked it. Um, I'd recommend it. Um, you know, or anything like it. It doesn't have to be this one, but you know, who's who's on here? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, they're very cool. I like them. Let me see if I can read your name. I'm sorry. Uh, I can never figure out how to use the chat when I'm on the phone. I mean, uh, here we go. Uh, controller pleb. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I've just, uh, I, you know, I've been saying I wanted to review these for a while. I've had them. I've been using them and uh, just wanted to get it out there. But yeah, I'm pretty much at the end of my review. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Um, I just didn't feel like editing a whole video. So I just thought, well, I'll just go live and uh, I'll add the info afterwards. But uh, yeah, if you, um, by the way, anybody else who's watching, uh, if you catch this later or if you come in, uh, you came in while I was live. Uh, I do have a live stream tomorrow where I'll be painting uh, Kilton, uh, the uh, Legend of Zelda NPC character, amiibo figure I made. Um, so I'll be painting him tomorrow. I'll also be painting my uh, little bot beast, uh, which is kind of my foam clay sculpt of my uh, channel mascot. So that'll be fun. Uh, and that's why I kind of cleaned up my desk a little bit. You can tell my desk is significantly cleaner than it was before. Still got some work to do. This room's still pretty filthy. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so 
nice talking to you guys and uh, hope you like this. Um, like I said, I've been very happy with it. I recommend it. If you see others that are the same thing but cheaper, go for it, get them. I can't attest to their quality, but I can attest to the quality of the one I did buy and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so you guys have a good Saturday and we will see each other again.